This moment has been a long time coming, and we have worked very hard to get here. A resolution to this type of challenge never comes easily, not when the stakes are so high, not when the issues are so technical, and not when each decision affects global and regional security so directly. But most importantly, this agreement addresses Iran's potential pathways to fissile material for a bomb exactly as we said it would, with appropriate limitations and transparency in order to assure the world of the peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program. Now, let me explain exactly how it will accomplish that goal. To start, the participants have agreed Iran will not produce or acquire either highly enriched uranium or weapons-grade plutonium for at least the next 15 years, and Iran declares a longer period of intent. Two-thirds of Iran's centrifuges will be removed from nuclear facilities, along with the infrastructure that supports them. And once they're removed, the centrifuges will be, and the infrastructure, by the way, will be locked away and under around-the-clock monitoring by the International Atomic Energy Agency. So when this deal is implemented, the two uranium paths Iran has towards fissile material for a weapon will be closed off. The same is true for the plutonium path. We have agreed Iran's heavy water reactor at Iraq will be rebuilt based on a final design that the United States and international partners will approve so that it will only be used for peaceful purposes.